Ardor is a free and open source program for anyone who wants to record, edit, mix, and master professionally on Linux. And this is the website for the program here. You can see this is what the audio interface looks like. Now, I want to download this on my computer, so I'm actually going to go over here to some install instructions that I found on the UbuntuHandbook.org website. So this is about installing the 6.5 version using a PPA on Ubuntu 20. Now, we are on an Ubuntu 20 laptop, so if I come over here and I look at the information about our computer, you see here we're on Ubuntu 20.04 LTS, and we're also on the Unity desktop, so we installed Unity even though 20.04 comes with GNOME by default. Now, I'm just going to scroll down here, I'm going to look at the instructions, and basically what we want to do here is we want to add a PPA that actually has the port of this version of Ardor. So I'm going to copy this, and I'm going to open up a terminal, so I'll look for Terminal, and then I'll expand this and just make the font size a little bigger so you can see what I'm doing. And I'll add that repository there. Press enter and then put my password in for my computer. And then press enter. And then sudo apt update. And then I'll come back over here to the instructions and you can see that you can just apt install Ardor at that point. So I'm gonna copy this and paste that here. sudo apt install Ardor. Press Y for yes. And once that finishes, you should be able to go up to your super here and look for Ardor and press enter on that. Now we have to run through this configuration wizard here, so I'm going to press forward. I'm going to put it in the home folder of my computer, so my user is Jim A. Fisk, I'll say forward. So now there's a question here about monitoring. So this is about getting your playback in your headphones as you're listening to other tracks of your recording. Now I'm actually going to be using an external mixer for this, so I'm going to click this first option here where we're going to use the external mixer instead of having Ardor play this back itself. So I'll press forward, and then I'll choose the simplest option here for the master bus, press forward, and apply. And so now it's asking if we want to just start a new project from a template. We'll say empty template, and we'll just name it the default untitled with the date down here, and I'll press open. And now we have an option here about what audio system we want to use. So I can cycle through these. I can look at Pulse Audio or Jack, and I'll go to All Set, which was the default, and I'll just press Start. And then I get a warning here about my system memory. I'll just press OK for now. And now we have the program here. I'm going to maximize this. Let's see here, if I want to prime this for recording, I can press record. And it says I have to add a track or a bus before doing this, so we probably have to add a track on here. This is just the master output here. So I'm gonna right click, and I can add different types of tracks. So we could do MIDI if we wanted to digitally record stuff, but I'm actually just going to do an audio track for now. And I'll add one track, it looks like we could add multiple. We'll do it in mono, and we'll just add and close. So now we have an audio track, and now we can prime this for recording like this. And you can see here, it's picking up the audio that we have right here. So if we start pressing record, and now we play, you can see here, it's picking up this audio. So you can see all the peaks from the claps that I just did. They're picking up right there, and then I could just stop, and that kicks out of the recording, and our track is still primed for recording, but I can turn this off as well, and no longer will you see the audio there. And we can come back and we can play this back if we want to. So I can press spacebar, And that's the basics of how you'd use this. Now there's a lot you can do here. Obviously this is just a very simple example, but you could plug in an audio interface, you could have multiple tracks recording at the same time, you can automate different things like volume and effects, you can add plugins and all sorts of things to actually add different features to your music. I plan on going into some of these features a little more deeply as I actually discover them myself, so if you like this type of content, let me know and I'll try to make more of these videos in the future. Alright, thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.